In today's video, we're going to make a jelly print dragonfly collage. I'm going to be working from existing jelly prints uh, that I'm tearing up into little pieces. And it's just another great way to use up those fabulous jelly prints. If you're like me, you've got a stack of them sitting around. All right, let's get started. So I've got an 8x10 birchwood panel here, and I've already um, sealed it with GAC 100. And when I, after I sealed it, I thought I would give it a little, um, a little more sanding down with this, and it left some um, little black mark on here, but I don't, I don't see that as a problem, so I'm not going to worry about it. I just wanted you to know what was on there. Um, today, I'm going to make a, or create, just a straight up collage dragonfly. I've got everything laid out here that I'm going <laughs> to, that I'm going to put on here. However, once I disturb this and start putting it together, I'm, probably going to lose my way. So I made a, actually what I did was take a picture of it on here. So I've got a guide. And um, all of these are prints, uh, jelly prints that I made with the dragonfly set and or dragonfly stencil and mask and or spiral stencil and mask. And I have lots of spare pieces if I find a blank spot in my um, panel and I'm not planning to go around the sides but you certainly could so all we need to do is get started with our matte medium golden matte medium is my preference and a um, mallet or spatula silicone spatula and we'll just put this together All right, so I know this is underneath here. Actually, this is underneath. <laughs> this is the puzzle. This is the, this is the hard part. Once you've got it, I know this is under, so. And it is going down the sides, which I intend to um, just paint black. But of course, if you want to cover the sides with jelly prints, you certainly have that option as well. Um, it's, of course, not optimal to be having the matte medium all over your fingers because it is, it's like glue, you know, so your fingers get all um, like they're peeling. I did a project with some some first graders and uh, they did not enjoy having matte medium on their fingers. Can you imagine? I see a skip of paint there. I have to use the um, Tombow markers for that. I'm referring to my reference over here as I go. Uh, to see what I need to do. Move it down a little bit. The biggest piece is this dragonfly in the center. And um, just wanting to not have, I'm wanting the entire panel to be covered so I can see that these are underneath. Not sure exactly how I did that now. Um, I have to tear that off a little bit. But as you can see, this is a great way to use a bunch of jelly prints. And, you know, ha ha sometimes your jelly prints have 
a treasure in a little part of it. It's not the whole print isn't fabulous, but there's a fabulous part of the print and it's a great way to to use that. Okay, so let's see. I'm going with this. This is such a fun one. This is the one I made with the button. Actually, I don't want to lose all that now. I do like that one. I'm losing my sunburst there. Okay, this is underneath. You are hearing the heat come on, in case you're curious. Really a shame to cover, uh, whoops, cover all this spiral up. You have a little bit of time with the matte medium. Okay, we have a spot here that's going to need to be covered. Huh. Oh, I see. This one's here. That's a neat one, too. Really like both of these. All right, let's get this one on here. There we go, that looks about right. Just really wanting to smooth out any bubbles in here, any um, anything underneath. Okay, we have a little trouble spot here that I didn't, um, that I don't have planned for. This goes here. Hate to lose half of it. We really could make that one go around the side if we wanted. So I'm gonna leave that hanging and maybe we'll do that side. Okay. All right, so the front is covered, but I have this spot here that I somehow didn't align properly. And what do I want to put there? Um, that's not bad. Too much, too much, too much. I really think it kind of needs to be something like that. Hmm. Let's do that. And then one more little piece or a couple more little pieces that are just 
uh, camouflage-y. Let's see, what could it be? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, there's some fun stuff in here. I want to be distracting, though. So this is all rice paper, which is um, my favorite, which is you can see how easy it is to tear and um, just slide right in there. I think that's distracting, too. Maybe we just do something really um, blendy like this. Wow, you guys, this is a, you know, last minute crisis. <laughs> It's kind of an important spot, though, so. That's one of the things that I love about collage is that you can just... Um, you can check it out before you put it on. One more little spot there. We'll just do that. Okay, and I've got a couple little skips here where the paint um, ended up leaving the paper for some reason. So I'm just going to use my Tombow markers and fill that in. And a little green. Gonna need more than that. Okay, so you've got um, a nice piece just like this. Um, you could paint the side black and let a couple um, pieces go over it, or you could cover the whole thing with the, the jelly prints. Uh, that's entirely up to you. I mean, it just depends on how much. I do really like these couple going over, though, so uh, we'll, we can at least do... We can do this side. I'm just going to trim this, make it straight. Geez, I hate to use that um, dragonfly there. Just uh, might as well keep going with this color. Eeks. Now I'm getting stingy now. I want to save my to save my dragonfly here. Just tore off the piece I needed. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Getting fussy here. 
Buffy. We'll get that little bit on there. Then we'll put the little wing over here and we've got that nice little bit. Whoops. All right, well, you get the general idea. I think what I'll do now is I'll just um, go the whole way around and uh, show you the finished product in just a minute. All right, stay tuned. Well, okay, here it is as promised. Um, and I wanna show you one thing that I ran into, which I didn't anticipate so that you can watch for it yourself. I had matte medium on my hands and when I was trying to smooth this part down, the matte medium on my hands lifted off the jelly print. There's a little stuck right there. So I have to cover that over, which is not a big deal. Thought I had some paper ready to do that. <laughs> I'm being challenged today. Yes, here it is, okay? So avoid smoothing it down with matte medium on your fingers because you will just lift it up. And if you run into something like that, we'll just, uh, you know, voila, solution. So there it is. And uh, one more way for you to use all those jelly prints. I think I took longer on the sides <laughs> than I did on the front, but um, yeah. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. I'll see you next time.